Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers about using predefined variables and user-defined variables within GitLab CI. The viewer is trying to define a variable for a Docker image name using the branch name as a tag, but they're running into a snag. Let's dive into the details and see if we can clarify this for them. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. Let's address the question about using predefined variables and user-defined variables in GitLab CI/CD. In your example, you defined a variable for the Docker image name using the branch name as a tag. However, when you output the variable, it doesn't expand the predefined variable as expected. The output you received shows that the user-defined variable expanded, but the predefined variable did not. This is a common behavior in GitLab CI-CD. To achieve the desired behavior, you can use the rules keyword or define the variable in a script section where the predefined variables are available. In summary, while user-defined variables can reference other user-defined variables, predefined variables may not expand as expected in certain contexts. Always check the documentation for the latest updates. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. In response to whether you can use predefined variables and user defined variables, the answer is no. You can't nest substitutions directly. However, there are effective workarounds. For example, you can define prefixes for your container names and use them to construct your variables without nesting. You can also use direct variable references in echo commands to achieve the desired output without nesting. Remember, while you can't nest variables, you can still combine them effectively to get the results you need. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Yes, you can use predefined variables and user-defined variables with GitLab 13.10. This version introduced nested variable expansion, allowing you to define a variable in your .gitlab-ci.yml file and use it in another variable. When nested variable expansion is enabled, GitLab sorts and expands job variables recursively. This ensures that variables are sent to the runner in the correct order for execution. Now, you can easily use variables inside other variables in your GitLab CIYML file. For more details, check the GitLab documentation. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time. Next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.